welcome back to divine times 2 today I want to share with you how I make ham pastries in other words Cubans refer to them as pastelitos de jamón they are delicious and I want to share how to make them with you the first thing you will need to do is make a simple syrup I used half a cup of sugar half a cup of water boil it after it's boiling I put it in a bowl and let it cool off because this will be the glaze you will put on your pastries after they have baked so now I'm going to take puff pastry do not confuse puff pastry with phyllo dough okay you're going to open it up All right, and you're going to simply roll it out a little bit. want to try to make it into a perfect square because once you start rolling it out it uh, changes somewhat the shape all right okay looks good now you are going to cut this in squares so, okay, it does have like a line, so when it has been folded, just follow that. All right. Now, I am going to cut these in three. Okay. Now we're going to make party size pastelitos de jamón. We're going to make party size. So that's why the squares are so small. Okay, now to each square, you're going to make two triangles. Just like that. And so on, and you're going to do it to all of your squares. Okay, so you will have each square will be one pastry. All right, so you will have nine uh, party size ham pastry. Now you're going to take one of the triangles. Okay. Okay, so you can see it better there. All right, now you are also going to beat an egg. Beat an egg. You will need a, a brush to brush um the dough and i have here i i purchased ham uh, a good ham grind it and i also i ground it up and i also added half of an onion in it i love onions so i just put it in there um i don't think um authentic cuban ham pastries have onion in it I think it's only the ham but I like it with ham so I'm adding it I added some to it all right so just add a little bit of that mixture remember you may omit the onions you don't need the onion you do need the ham very important very good ham okay just add a little bit okay 
Then you're going to get the egg which you beaded. Cover all the edges. Okay. Get your other half of your triangle and simply place it on the top. Okay? The egg will form a to uh, will form a bind to bind both the top and the bottom pieces of um pastry together you do want to push it down okay the most difficult part in doing this okay which it's not at all difficult okay you're going to get this end the triangle you are going to flip it over like that get this part And that's what you're going to do okay then I have here let me move this around I have here parchment paper on a pizza pan okay and I am going to place this and to place it here and the the real name to this are called cangrejitos because if you look at it, cangrejito means crab. If you look at it, it looks like a little crab, okay? So that's why they're called. When you go to a Cuban bakery, you will ask for cangrejitos. That's what they're called. Now, I'm going to do the rest of these. And before I bake them, I will come back and show you what you need to do. All right, after you have created all and put together all your cangrejitos, you are going to get the egg mixture and just put, um, brush it over each cangrejito, every ham pastry. This will give it a nice golden color when they come out of the oven. Now I am going to bake these in a toaster oven at 350 degrees um, for 20 minutes, okay? If it's a little bit longer than 20 minutes, I will let you know, but it is a toaster oven. After I take them out, I will show you how they came out. All right, they baked exactly for 20 minutes, okay? Now after they come out of the oven, leave it out for one or two minutes before you brush on the simple syrup okay remember um well i used half a cup of water and half a cup of sugar and i boiled it and then i let it cool okay and just brush the simple syrup on each of them look at how pretty they came out Okay, I'm going to plate these up and I'll show you what they look like. Look at how beautiful they came out. Absolutely beautiful. See the shape? They look like, um, like little crabs. That's why they're called cangrejitos. You can see this one a little bit le um, better. Okay. Now, Cubans enjoy this with coffee and milk, cafe con leche, warm milk, with some um, Cuban coffee in it and lots of sugar. It's delicious, especially when you're eating cangrejitos. Okay, now I'm going to try one, let you know how they taste. Mmm. Mm. So delicious, so flaky. Look at that. This is just, oh, this is delicious. Mm. And you can find this all over Miami in every Cuban bakery. So if you visit Miami, make sure you go to a Cuban bakery. They are simply delicious. 
They have various kinds, but try the ham one, cangrejito. They're delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Love making it for you. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Remember to comment down below and let me know if you've ever made these or eat, have eaten them or uh, you've been to Miami and been to a Cuban bakery to try these out. So remember, stay kind, positive, and divine. See you next time. Love you. Bye.